Hi everybody, welcome to another video. And today, my brand new shirt to what I do. I'm gonna be um, telling you guys, this is a new tutorial, on how to make a mod menu. Now, most people want this, and I've heard a lot of people wanting this tutorial. So we're gonna start from learning on how, like from getting all the stuff that we need, and then part two will be uploading to the playlist that is uh, going to be in the description once the video two is uploaded. And uh, yeah. Let's get right into it. So, this um, this episode is basically the first episode, and it's setting up everything that we need. So, first thing that we need, go and start the description. Sorry, my keyboard's loud, by the way. And search up, and that will be something called Dance Pie in the background. Now, this program, most people think it's a skating program, but it's not exactly. It's just easier to do stuff. It makes it easier to code, and I am most familiar with it, so I use it. Alright, so once you go here, uh, you'll see this little page. Click on dnspynetframework.zip. And then let this download, which will only take a sec. Alright, so now that it's downloaded, we just click on it, and it'll open up. Then we have to just go ahead and extract it. So it'll only take a second. And then we open up the folder. So, what's on here? We have to run dnspy.exe. Now since I already have a dnspy installed, I'm just going to run this one. Alright, so now that we have dnspy open, I'm just going to look like this, so I recommend like full screening it. Now we have this, we click on file. Also make sure your real time is fully updated until, unless this won't work. So I'll click on file and then open. Go to your Gorilla Tag uh, pl uh, plugins folder, so Bepanex plugins. Go to Utila and then open that. As you can see, it opened up Utila and two other files. Oh yeah, also make sure to, so once you first run up uh, DNSpy, make sure to click on Control A and then delete key on your keyboard. Then uh, open Utila and then do another open and then go back to Bepanex, go into Bepanex folder core and then everything in here open and then file and open again and then go to the gorilla tag so it has like gorilla tag you see <laughs> and then gorilla tag data manage and drag um everything besides for the system so just drag from the top all the way down until there's steam vr so stop at steam vr and then open and then open again and then skip through all these systems and then when it says unity animation rigging just scroll all the way down until the very bottom and then open <laughs> now that is i'm pretty sure enough that we need so now you now you go inside of the description of the video and you go to shimitri t's mod menu discord server <laughs> now there is a area called text channels and then there is mod menu making now open up now go to the channel template and i'm going to upload a mod menu template that you guys can edit now this is very useful. I, no. It does have some preset mods in there that you can use if you want to have some experience with making buttons. So all you want to do is you just want to download this. So download, continue to download. Now that we have that, open up DSPY again, file. Uh, also, you can actually do this as well with um, DSPY, I mean, uh, Visual Studio, if you would want to. Uh, if you have Visual Studio, then th there's also going to be a Visual Studio project in here as well. Um, there's not going to be just uh, one, not going to just be dance by. <laughs> I'm, I'm not so familiar with Visual Studio. Just make sure to just, if you're on Visual Studio, then just follow carefully. So. You want to go ahead and go to the downloads and then run, open the template. As you can see, it's called Mod Menu Fix. Open it, open, and then menu.harm you caches. And then open up G Tag Menu. Now, this comes with many things. So, <laughs> this actually comes with 11 pages, all by itself, and also a ton of <laughs> preset mods like uh, platforms. Airstrike, uh, checkpoint, invisible platforms, uh, invisible trigger, uh, long arms, no clip, plank platforms, plot, uh, plot primary platforms, 
RGB, Sticky Blood from Stella Per Gun, Trigger Platform Monkey, X-Ray, and Slingshot. And that, those are all the mods that it comes with. So, uh, yeah. And also, and the further in the tutorial, we're gonna add more stuff. So that is everything you need. Um, so just wait until episode two is released, uh, basically on the playlist. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in episode two.